Hey, this is Jerry from Blizz Studio. And in this particular tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the experimental Boolean feature right in Pro Builder. And what does that tool do? It allows you to combine Pro Builder shapes. It allows you to intersect two different shapes. And it also allows you to subtract one shape from another shape. And if you're ready to get building, let's go. So here we are in Unity. And we're gonna go ahead and make sure that you have Pro Builder downloaded. If you don't, you can go to Window, Package Manager, and then within the Package Manager, if you have Unity Registry as an option up here, if you just type in Pro, you'll see that one of the options is Pro Builder. So I would go ahead and download the latest version. Currently, the latest version for me is 503, and so I have that installed in my project, and I am good to go. Once you have that installed, you'll have a tools option up here at the top. Currently with that part of the uh, great assets from Unity, I've got ProGrids, uh, PolyBrush, and ProBuilder, and I'm gonna do a, a few little tutorials on those as well. But one of the cool little features that I love with the newest version of ProBuilder is that it allows me to merge or subtract one type of item from another type of item. So. How are we gonna do that? So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our Unity preferences. So under Unity, not the ed editor project settings preferences, but the Unity preferences. So we're gonna go down to preferences. And then within that, I'm gonna go select the option for Pro Builder. And then right here, by default, this will be unchecked experimental features enabled. In this case, I've gone ahead and checked it. Once you click it once, and if you give that a minute, it's going to go ahead and then check, and then you're, you're good to go. Once you do that, then you're now going to have in your Pro Builder options, you're going to have this experimental option, which is the Boolean tool. Okay, so let's go ahead and just demo this tool real quick. So we're going to go ahead and create a Pro Builder cube. So here we go, we have our cube, and let's go ahead and just move this cube a little closer to the camera. And that looks good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create another game object. And let's just go ahead and do an arch. So I'm gonna do an arch, and let's just move that to where our cube is. And so what I wanna do is I want to subtract my arch from my cube so that I then have a new shape, okay? So what I'm gonna do is to open up my Pro Builder Experimental Boolean Tool. Now you see I've got two windows here and the first object is the object that I wanna subtract from. So we're gonna go ahead and drag the cube into that window. And then we want to take and add the arch to this window so that we then are going to subtract the arch from the cube, okay? So with the Boolean feature, we now have three different options here. One is an intersection. So what is the connection between those two objects and then create a new shape with those connections. So let's just do that real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. Anytime I do this, it's creating a new game object and it's going to leave the original two game objects there. So I'm gonna click apply. Now you'll see I have a new game object. So let's go ahead and just drag this off. And you'll see I now have what the difference or what was the connection of those two game objects and it creates a new shape. Okay, so let's go ahead and just delete that. Now we've also have the option here of union. So it's going to take these two shapes and combine them into another shape. So let's go ahead and click apply. And now again, a new game object is created and it's now a combination of those two game objects together. I now have those two game objects as one. So that is another option. So let's go ahead and just delete that. But I think the most cool option here is subtraction. Okay, so I'm going to subtract the arch from the cube so that I have now a piece taken out of the cube. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. Again, this does create a new game object, but if we drag this off, you can now see that I have a new shape where the arch used to be 
and that was subtracted from the cube. So these are some really great tools, some really great features of ProBuilder that you can start doing a lot of 3D creation right in the Unity editor for your game. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this experimental feature in ProBuilder. Don't hesitate to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time, peace.